Hi and welcome to this new quick comparison. Today we are going to compare the JBL Charge 3, which I still consider as one of the best speakers in this class, against the brand new Philips SP500, which I think is Philips new kind of flagship model. The Philips goes for about $200 and the JBL can already be found for about $120, so quite some price difference. Also um, there's some size difference, so the Philips is quite a bit bigger than the JBL, also a bit heavier, but the JBL um, has a bigger battery built in. And also sound-wise, um, they are quite similar, although the JBL even offers more bass. But I think you should just take a listen to this in some seconds. The Philips also has some lights built in, which I think are quite unnecessary. Maybe just, uh, I don't know, leave them away and then uh, you save $20 and you can sell it for $180, which would be a way more fair price for the sound which the Philips delivers here. But now, please put up your headphones as this is a binaural microphone recording and enjoy it. You don't have to wait until the world is over To tell me how you feel, why can't you take me closer? Maybe 
solid from day one But her attitude changed The day she got her first son Learned the secret technique of hate evasion If she got with everything out of his mouth Seem a little Asian Influenced and the mother looking down from the space station Who them I learned I could be great Depending on which direction that I face, son Happiness only takes one But when you got to that list Man, I might not make it out of times I hit snooze Wake up, wake up, Tyler, you ain't got nothing to lose Came from the same stuff as the bruise Now, we free from Name, dude, never been around when nothing could be gained So, he can wallow in his shame Was a hard go to swallow, but we took it So this is it from this comparison, and I think that those are two of the best speakers in this class. I mean the JBL still sounds nice, and the Philips also has a different sound signature, but also sounds really good. So let's start with the JBL. Um, the JBL still is the bass king here, there was one track in this comparison where the JBL had, uh, I don't know, 
great bass. It sounded like it was like three times bigger than it actually is. The bass, which is down to about 60 or 65 hertz, which is just great. They also boosted this bass slightly. So the JBS still is the bass king. If you want a speaker for bass and modern music, you should just go with a Charge 3 without even, I don't know, thinking about the Philips. But I personally would definitely pick the Philips as I prefer a more balanced sound signature. The Philips is somehow the Charge 3 in a better version for me, as many people criticize the JBL Charge 3 for the bad trap. So after about 12 or 14 kHz, the JBL rolls off and you don't get any resolution anymore. Also, the mids could be a bit more precise with the JBL, and the Philips, in my opinion, does all of this better. The treble is boosted at about 5 kHz and also offers a bit more resolution, and the mids also sound way clearer than on the charge, especially for jazz music. The Philips really is a nice speaker. Sadly, there is one criticize or one critique point with the um, Philips. The bass doesn't reach as deep as on the charge and isn't nearly as powerful as the one on the charge. So the charge really is, uh, I don't know, at a speaker for modern music. It's really focused on bass and on modern music, while the Philips rather offers a balanced sound signature, which is better for me. But of course, the combination between both of them would be perfect. The bass of the charge and the treble and the mids of the Philips here. Of course, you can let me know which one you liked most in the comments. And of course, I don't want to forget this topic. On max volume, the JBL was so much softer than the Philips. The Philips really is, I don't know, a new class of speaker when it comes to maximum volume. It also sounded a bit more precise with a bit more bass kick on max and I really, I don't know, love the Philips on high volume. So it is really way too loud for my microphones. I had to turn down the gain all the way in order to, um, I don't know, make a distortion free recording because the Philips is just so loud on max. And it even sounds good. It doesn't sound like a UE Boom 2 uh, with a lot of compression and volume dropping. It just sounds clean and really, really loud. Of course, if you liked the video, please leave a like or subscribe to the channel. Until then, have a great time and bye bye.